and welcome back to another video lesson. For today, we will discuss the measures of exterior and interior angles of convex polygon. At the end of this video lesson, the learners will be able to derive inductively the relationship of exterior and interior angles of a convex polygon. So let's recall ano nga ba ulit ang mga convex polygons. Here are some examples of its figure. All of its diagonals must be in the interior of the polygon. So here, recall that in a triangle, walang diagonal ang madudrawing chan dahil ang mga vertices ay automatically consecutive. While sa mga sumusunod naman, all of the diagonals that we can draw when we combine the non-consecutive vertices will be inside the polygon. Just like the following. Okay? So, sa ngayon, ang focus natin is about convex polygons at ang mga measure ng kanilang interior and exterior angle. So, what do we mean by interior angles? It is an angle inside a shape. So, from the word interior, that means nasa loob ito ng shape. It is formed by two consecutive sides of a polygon. Kapag kinumbine daw natin yung dalawang sides ng polygon, makakabuo tayo ng angle. At ang mga ito ang tinatawag nating interior angles. The number of interior angles also depend on the number of its vertices. The sum of all the interior angles of a polygon is equal to this formula n minus 2 times 180 degrees, where n is the number of sides. We can use this formula to compute kung ano nga ba yung sum ng lahat ng interior angles dito. Here, we have three sides. We can use the formula n minus 2 times 180 degrees. So, since we have three sides, subtract it first to 2 and then multiply it by 180. So, we can have 180 degrees as the sum of all interior angles ng ating triangle. We can say that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to 180 degrees. Kapag quadrilateral naman, which has 4 sides, so we use the formula 4 minus 2, that's 2, times 180, 360 degrees. That means the sum of all the angles of any quadrilateral is equal to 360 degrees. Next is a pentagon which has 5 sides using the formula 5 minus 2 times 180 degrees that will give us 540 degrees. While the last figure has 6 sides, so we can have 6 minus 2 times 180 degrees, that's 720 degrees. So this measures is what we call the sum of all interior angles. Okay? So a while ago, kinompute natin yung sum ng mga measures ng interior angles ng mga polygons na ito. For any triangle, the sum is 180 degrees. For any quadrilateral, the sum of all interior angles is 360 degrees. For pentagon, that's 540 degrees, and for hexagon, 720 degrees. Suppose we have a triangle which looks like this, and this one is a right angle, at ang measure ng isang angle is 30 degrees. Para mahanap yung measure ng natitirang interior angle, we need to subtract 180 degrees sa sum nung dalawang interior angle. So 90 plus 30 is 120 degrees. Subtract it from 180. That means ang natitirang interior angle measures 60 degrees. So that is one use of the sum of all interior angles of a polygon.
Ngayon naman, mag-focus tayo sa regular polygons. That means all sides are equal and all angles are equal. So for any regular polygon, the measure of each interior angle is equal to n minus 2 times 180 divided by n, where n is the number of sides. Notice na yung formula na n minus 2 times 180 is yung ginamit na natin kanina, which is the sum of all interior angles. So ito na yung mga yun. At dahil ang hinahanap natin ngayon is ang measure ng bawat interior angle, we need to divide this sum equally based on its number of interior angles. That means 180 divided by 3, each angle here measures 60 degrees. Okay, another one. The sum of all angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. Paghahatian ng apat na angles, 360 divided by 4, that means the measure of each angle here is 90 degrees. For the pentagon, we have 540 degrees divided by 5 vertices or 5 angles. So each interior angle here measures 108 degrees. Pwede nyo namang i-double check 108 times 5, that must be 540 degrees. So for the last one, we have hexagon. So this time, let's double check if the formula works here, especially kung hindi nyo pa nalaman yung sum of all interior angles. So here we have a hexagon which has 6 sides. So subtract it first to 2 times 180 bago natin i-divide sa 6. 6 minus 2, 4 times 180. So that will still be 720 divided by 6, that is 120 degrees. The measure of each interior angle in a hexagon is 120 degrees. Now let's talk about exterior angles. From the word exterior, it is an angle outside of the polygon and it is formed by one of its sides and the extension of an adjacent side. So from this figure, makakabuo daw tayo ng exterior angle out of one of the sides of the polygon and extension of an adjacent side. Pag sinabing adjacent, katabi niya din, but we need to extend this side so that we can form this angle. At ito ang tinatawag nating exterior angle. Ang interior ay nasa loob, ang exterior yung nasa labas. We can still have exterior angles just like this, and then ito naman yung extend natin, or even this one. Okay? So ito ang mga tinatawag nating exterior angles. The adjacent interior and exterior angles are supplementary. Hence, their measures will add up to 180 degrees. So as you can see here, natawag natin itong supplementary because they show a linear pair. Or pag inad natin itong dalawa, it will be equal to 180 degrees. If we have the interior angle 60 degrees, the exterior angle will be equal to 180 minus 60, so this one will be equal to 120 degrees. Next, in a square or in this quadrilateral, kapag ang interior niya ay 90, 180 minus 90, that will be equal to 90 degrees. Dito naman, kapag ang interior ay 108 degrees, we need to subtract 180 minus 108, that will be equal to 72 degrees. While here in the hexagon, at ang measure ng bawat interior angle ay 120 degrees, that means ang measure ng exterior angle will be 180 minus 120. 60 degrees. So here we have the exterior angles and its measures. 
Here, we have the same figure, tinatawag nating regular polygons, which means all of the interior angles have equal measures. Kung equal lahat ng interior angles nila, that means equal din ang kanilang mga exterior angles. So here, the sum of all exterior angles of any polygon is equal to 360 degrees. So that is, so let us check. So if we have 120 degrees sa ating triangle and we have 3 exterior angles, that is 360 degrees. Sa quadrilateral, we have 90 degrees and we have 4 exterior angles. That's also true na 360 degrees. Sa pentagon, 72 degrees per exterior angle. That is also 360 degrees. While for hexagon, we have 60 degrees times 6 exterior angles. That's also 360 degrees. So, tama nga na ang sum ng lahat ng exterior angles will always be equal to 360 degrees. With that, for any regular polygon, the measure of each exterior angle is equal to 360 over n, where n is the number of sides. So, ito ay pwede natin gamitin technique. So, for example, a pentagon which has 5 sides. Pwede natin hanapin muna ang kanyang exterior angles sa pamamagitan ng formula na 360 divided by n. 360 divided by 5, that will be equal to 72 degrees. So, as we can see, tama naman na 72 degrees. At para mahanap naman ang kanyang interior angle, we simply subtract that to 180 degrees dahil ang interior at exterior ay supplementary. So, 180 degrees minus 72 degrees, that is 108 degrees for our interior angle. Alright, so I hope with that, nakikita nyo na yung relationship ng bawat measure at kung bakit ganun ang ating naging formula. Alright, let us check if you have understood something for today. Let us find the measure of the missing angles in the following figures. So for the first figure, we have a triangle wherein some of its interior angles are given, 35 degrees and 110 degrees. Ang nawawala na lang na interior angle is angle 2. We know that the sum of all angles in a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, we simply need to subtract the sum of the two given angles from 180 para mahanap ang measure ng angle 2. So, we'll have 180 minus the quantity 35 plus 110. That will be 35 degrees. That means angle 2, which is the remaining interior angle, measures 35 degrees. The next two missing angles are exterior angles. We know that the interior and the exterior angles are supplementary, which means given an angle, we simply need to subtract that from 180 degrees. We'll have angle 1 equal to 180 minus the interior 110. Angle 1 measures 70 degrees. Well, angle 3, we have 180 minus the interior 35 degrees. That means this is equal to 145 degrees. Okay? So this shows that interior and exterior angles are supplementary. For the second figure, we have a quadrilateral. Meron na ding mga given interior angles at isa na lang yung nawawala. To compute for that, dapat alam din natin yung sum ng lahat ng interior angles ng isang quadrilateral. Recall na ang formula na ginagamit natin para malaman ang total sum ng lahat ng angles ng isang polygon is using this formula. 
So if we have a four-sided polygon, we need to subtract it by 2 before we multiply to 180, 360 degrees. So, if we have 360 as the sum of 4 angles here, meron na tayong 130 at dalawang 50, we simply need to subtract that from 360. 360 minus 230 degrees, angle 4 is equal to 130 degrees. Okay? While angle 5, which is its exterior, so we simply need to subtract that from its interior because they are supplementary to each other. That will give us 50 degrees. Okay? While sa last figure, we have a missing exterior angle. At dahil may given ng interior angle, we simply need to subtract that from 180. So therefore, angle 6 is equal to 45 degrees. Okay? So another way to compute for this is we divide the sum of all the measures of the exterior angles, which is always equal to 360 degrees, divided by its number of sides. So since this is an octagon, we can divide it by 8 so that the exterior angles will be divided equally by 8 and still can see that we have the same answer, which is 45 degrees. So here, we have used the concept about interior and exterior angles. Another activity here, what is the measure of each interior and exterior angle of the following regular polygon? Para masolve ang interior and exterior angle, dapat familiar tayo sa number of sides ng mga sumusunod na polygons. When we say heptagon, this is a polygon with 7 sides, while kapag decagon, we have 10 sides. So now, to compute for the interior angle, we can use the formula N-2 times 180 over N. So here, we have 7-sided polygon minus 2 times 180. Notice na ito yung sum of all interior angles. We can have 5 times 180. That will give us 900. And i-divide pa natin to equally by 7 angles. So 900 divided by 7, that will give us 128.57 Decrease. While ang exterior naman can be computed using the formula 360 divided by the number of sides. So 360 divided by 7, so that will give us 51.43 degrees. Alright, and to check whether our answer is correct, we also know that interior angle and exterior angle must be supplementary. If their sum is 180 degrees, that means tama ang ating sagot. So next, gawin natin to ulit sa ating decagon. In a decagon, we have 10 sides minus 2 times 180 degrees. We'll have 8 times 180, 1,440, and we still need to divide it by 10, which means each interior angle measures 144 degrees. While exterior, we have 360 divided by 10, each exterior angle measures 36 degrees. So again, if we add the interior and the exterior, that must be supplementary to each other. Okay? I hope that you understood our lesson and you now know how to compute for the measures of interior and exterior angles. Thank you for listening.